so my name is Alex Pence, and I grew up in Concord, New Hampshire, way up in the Northeast. Um, and I grew up with six siblings, three brothers and three sisters. So there was always um, activity in the Pence household, especially since we grew up with uh, a household of boys next door. There were 10 cousins, all of them boys. There, a girl was added later on. So we always had something going on between the two houses, whether it was sports or games or whatever. I grew up homeschooled. That was homeschooling all through high school. I had a couple classes at the public school and I did sports at the public school. Um, but for the most part, I was surrounded by family. You know, people would ask, were you uh, socialized properly? And I would say we had a lot of different socialization. It was a lot of fun. Growing up in the great Northeast, we always had massive snowstorms. Um, and ice storms as well. In this particular instance, it was a combination of, of cold weather after a rain. And so we live um, just under a hill and the whole road going down the hill was just covered in ice. And so I remember my dad running into the bedroom and I bunked with my three brothers. And he's like, guys, you gotta come out. We're gonna go sledding. And so we got our sleds and it's it's a pretty long road we just were cruising down it and had an absolute blast in my family we always talk about that as being the best sledding day ever my parents they they provided the faith to the whole family and that's one of the biggest blessings i think of my life is that um, from a i was a catholic from the cradle and my mom she took us to daily mass uh, before the school day started. Things like family rosary was a regular thing. Um, so I always grew up um, with the Catholic faith very near and dear to me. Um, and even from a young age, I had uh, different thoughts about becoming a priest. So I worked for three years after college, a little bit in finance, a little bit in fundraising. Um, but. I always had in the back of my mind this vocation. And so I was running from it a little bit throughout that process of discerning and throughout the process of making mistakes along the way. Jesus showed me his love for me and that he was gently asking me to, res to respond to his call. I heard the call very seriously. Um, it was a few years after college and I had gone on a pilgrimage to Lourdes. And there was a beautiful mass that was held at the grotto in Lourdes. And, and part, of the, part of the overall prayer and intention that I had in my heart when going to Lourdes was to ask Jesus, tell me whether or not I'll be called to be a priest. And after receiving the Eucharist, I was really flooded with a sense of his incredible love. And I mean, I broke down. And from that moment, I said, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> no more running. I'm ready to let Jesus lead me forward. Relying on the help of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ, we choose this man, our brother Alex, for the order of diacon. Thanks be to God. Being ordained a traditional deacon meant, first of all, that I was receiving an incredible gift. Um, and it's nothing that I deserve. It's nothing that was owed to me. It was given completely um, through the Lord's generosity. And to be ordained a deacon always makes me think about the meaning of it. To be ordained to the servanthood of Christ, to be conformed to the servanthood of Christ. And so it's a call to try and emulate Christ in that way. One image that always comes up to me is the way that he washed the feet of the disciples at the Last Supper. And so a deacon is meant to serve at the liturgy, but then also in, in the daily life of those people that he comes to encounter. Um, so it's a tall order certainly, but it's one that through faith um, 
I hope to be able to grow in throughout this year as a transitional deacon.